equations like this and this have interested mathematicians for decades. The fact that majorly concerns them is the fact that whether roots exist for these equations. If yes, then what is the nature? Most of them are already figured out but there exist a few which remains as mysteries. This group contains equations like this or as it is said equation in two variables with degree 3 and to rescue us from getting depressed Birch and Swinerton Dyer conjecture comes into action only if it was proved. The conjecture remains as an unsolved problem and is considered among the Millennium Prize problems. So our motive is to understand this conjecture in this video. Consider a degree 3 polynomial equation with two variables and obviously rational coefficients. Consider P to be a rational solution to the mentioned equation. Now an elementary fact must be noted. There can be a rational change of variable so that P is sent to infinity in a way such that the equation turns out to be this. Here we are concerned only about rational roots and no other kinds of roots. Now as we want to deal about rational roots A and B must be integers. Another important fact that must be noted is that these equations must be smooth. Now if we have already watched my video on Fermat's last theorem, this equation must seem familiar. Yes, it's called the elliptic curve. Now, since we are concerned about smooth curves, the discriminant of this equation as defined must not be equal to zero. In other words, we are concerned about elliptic curves which look like this. Now. Before moving on, let's understand few laws. Consider this elliptic curve containing two rational points P and Q. Draw a line joining them. Notice that the line intersects at a third point. That point too is bound to be a rational point. Now reflect that point about x-axis. You get another rational point which is actually P plus Q. Together with a point at infinity, this law of addition endows the set of rational points with abelian group structure. We define the group as EQ. A fact must be noted now. This group can certainly contain infinitely many elements as the curve may contain infinitely many rational points. Now the question that can be asked is how many elements do we require to start with? Do we require finite number of such elements or do we require infinitely many? Well according to models theorem we require finite number of elements and this number has a special name called the rank. Now since we know that EQ can be finitely generated we also must know this. This basically states that if we group all the elements of EQ of finite order and directly product it with R copies of set of integers, we get something similar to EQ. Now a number of questions might pop out regarding the rank of a group like what can be its maximum size or what's its average size and if there exists any algorithm to find R. These equations are unsolved and the last question itself is directly related to the conjecture. Now you must have seen people reducing equations by taking the remainders of equations after dividing them by primes or we also can say modulo p where p is a prime. Let's do the same here. Here we are reducing this elliptic curve modulo p. 
In this case, luckily we will be able to find another elliptic curve after the reduction for we are dealing with smooth curves. Now, it's expected from here that we get P rational points on E mod P. Well, not really. It's observed that in case of groups like this has rank which is quite large or in other words groups with a large number of ranks or a large number of elements to start with we get a number of such points which may not be equal to P and here comes the conjecture which says this here NP denotes the number of rational points on E and P is the prime or rather we can say that NP denotes the number of rational points on E mod P. Now product of NP over P for all primes less than an arbitrarily big number is approximately equal to C times log X raised to the power of R. Here X is a, an arbitrarily large number and here R is the rank. In the modern version of the conjecture the L series is introduced. So what is it? Define a term AP which is the difference between the expected number of points and the real number of points on E mod P. L series is defined as the following. Here S is a complex number and for real part of S greater than 3 by 2 the function converges. Here we define rank as order of vanishing of the L series at S equal to 1. We can also say that the tailored expansion of L series at S equal to 1 is this. And this is what the conjecture actually is.